Okay guys, so I will be restoring my dad's old machete. Check this out. Check the inside of the sheath. Thick leather in there. I've noticed this did uh, wear out. To fix that somehow. But I'll show you what I'm going to do to clean off his rust. Pretty much all you need to do. Well, it's not so bad. First things first. Gonna need some sort of steel wool. Or the back of this might be strong enough, but one of these sponges. But uh, steel wool should be better, so I'm gonna look for it and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so what we'll be using. I haven't used this before, but here it works. Vinegar. We got some vinegar in a spray bottle. Bottle. And we have some steel wool. So here we go, guys. I'm gonna give this a cleaning. Okay, okay guys. I don't know uh, my camera turned off or something, but this is what it looks like on one side. It has hasn't been uh, hit up yet with any vinegar. And this is what it looks like on the other side. So use steel wool, vinegar, and it's really cool. Look at this edge. Is that patina or something? It's all dark. It doesn't have much rust on it. So yeah, it's just what I was doing just like this, guys. It should have been on camera, but I don't think it was. Be careful with the edge. It can really cut you bad. Look at that. Now I'll compare it to this side. Okay, so get your vinegar, spray it on. Let that sit for about 20 seconds, and then get back to scrubbing. Okie dokie. So before. Should loosen it all up a bit and get underneath those layers. Put some more vinegar on there. That's it for 20 seconds. Get back to scrubbing and I'll show you the process when it's done. End result. Look how much better it is already. Restoring the old El Salvador machete. Okay, guys, I'm back. So one final go here. And the spine. Don't forget to get the spine. I really went through it a little bit. This is just a little extra in case I missed something. Which I didn't. Okay, 
put some water on there, take the vinegar off. Now after you put water on, you gotta make sure you dry it right away. Start to see the brand now. I thought it had no brand. Let me tell you guys what brand this is in a second. See that gleam? This thing is razor sharp. This is sharper than any machetes I've ever sharpened. And has been used in a long time. The edge is so sharp. And I've had some pretty sharp edges. This is sharpest I've seen. Check that out guys. Okie dokie. You see the brand says, oh it's a Corona made in El Salvador. I'm going to try and let you guys see that with the phone here. Camera. Let's see if that's possible. Let's see. Um, where did I find it before? Oh yeah, it's right, it's right there. Where is it here? It's super hard to see. Don't think you're gonna be able to see it. There it is. See it? Done. Now I have to work on the sheath, which is something I haven't really done before. But I'm thinking it has something to do with just putting some oil on the sheath. But I'm going to use um, what I would use to clean a car seat that's made out of leather and then put some conditioner on it. Be it, be it oil, canola oil, or the oil I would use in a car. Okay, there you go guys. She's singing again. Handle. 
sounds great. There it is. The machete. That is a sword. Ciao. 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 Ciao.